I just found this beautiful bakery called Rola, Roladin here in front of the market, Yahana, uh, Mahana Yehuda. And um, there's the other entrance of the market and it's wonderful. Look at this. We, I'm just next to the tram. I can look at the hustle of bustle of Jerusalem and I got an espresso and this nice pastry. They have fresh, nice baked pastry and some water, fresh water with the espresso. So it's wonderful to be here. Look at that. There's already a tram coming. I'm going to sit down now and try this stuff out. And um, I just tell you, wow, this is amazing. I should, uh, and the service is so nice. Two guys working here, a lot of humor, very nice, not stressed. And you can sit quietly and calmly. It's really worthwhile coming to this coffee shop, Boladin here, just opposite of Man Mahana Yehuda Market. And look at that. There's the tram coming, you can enjoy, like in Paris, the street life of Jerusalem. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try out the Roladin um, Espresso. Let's try it. And I got like... Um, let's try the Espresso first, no? And they have internet, which is very good and strong. Very good as well. Oh, very good. Oh, perfect taste. Perfect taste, the Espresso. Then you get free water with it, you know? They have a machine, water machine. This nice, not tap water, even nice water, you know. And um, look at this. And you can enjoy Sunday morning here in Jerusalem. The hustle and bustle of the market, you know. For the Jewish people, it's Monday already. Shabbat is Saturday, so Saturday is Sunday. And it's regular life here in Jerusalem now. And um, yeah, God bless you all from Jerusalem. It's the second of Advent. So I wish you a beautiful second of Advent wherever you are around the world. I will try the pastry as well now. Let's try the pastry. Let's see how that one tastes like. Mm. Oh, my favorite. My mom always made this cake and I loved it. And it's so good. Mm. I'm gonna have um, sweet cheese on this side here. Let's try the sweet cheese. Mm. It's a poem. Mmm, very nice. Just very, very nice. I will enjoy now here the street life with a nice espresso. As you can see, the espresso was good. I want to take another sip of it. Looking at the market, oh, perfect. This is the perfect way to start the morning, you know. And God bless you all from Jerusalem. I pray for you here in the Holy Land and your intention, your known intention, unknown intentions. And you see the market is going on, they're preparing the stuff. There's another beautiful coffee shop over there, Schwa de Wiefel Café Lyon. And um, yeah, look, this is the hustle of bustle of Jerusalem. And God bless you all from Jerusalem. And I wish you a joyful, happy second of Advent. Remember, the Catholic trademark is joy. And ask yourself, if you're not in joy, why are you not in joy? It's the fruit of the Spirit. The joy and we all should be in joy as Catholics. When we walk in the spirit, it's a sure sign that you are in the spirits, and when you can laugh about yourself, that's a sure sign as well. And this is my little message for you the, the special message from Jerusalem on the second of Advent. Be in joy, that's what um, St. Paul always says. I urge you, be in joy. You have to be in joy as Catholics, and um, then we are on the right path, we are on the, on the fullness as Jesus describes it. Even if you have crosses, I have crosses too, but, but with joy you can carry it. And the second message is written, do everything with love. We have to do everything with love. And the, the consequence will be that we are in joy and in peace when you do everything truly in love. And you are who you are should be, as God says. And we are made in the image of God. He says, I am who I am. You should be, I am who I am. You should not be, I am what my parents want me to be. I am what the society wants me to be, what your partner wants you to be. I am who I am authentically and then God can give you the graces because you connect to the I am who I am and this is just my little message for you to be joyful, to be in peace and happiness, how to have it you have to be honest to yourself as one wrote on Facebook one time a Catholic, Catholicism means being Catholic means foremost being honest to yourself truly to yourself, honest and then you do things out of love because you know yourself you know God, what God has placed as a mission in your heart and this mission is always connected to enthusiasm 
that means you are enthusiastic about the thing you are doing, you know. And um, always remember also when a door closes, God knows what is good for you. He has created you. He's got the Father, a loving Father, and He closes the door for things which are not good for you or persons which are not good for you, and He opens other doors for you which are good. You will see it on long term always it will come out what is for you and what is not for you. God bless you all from Jerusalem. Keep your joy up and God bless you. Bye bye.